This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features in Premiere Pro and Audition, the 2014 release for the Creative Cloud. In this excerpt, I'll show you how live text templates are used inside Premiere. Another feature is live text. This is an integration of After Effects comps with Premiere projects. It's very similar and analogous to motion templates inside Final Cut 7 or motion templates inside Final Cut 10 where I can use a motion graphics package, After Effects in this case, to create the design, bring the design over and use the design but change the text inside Premiere so a Premiere editor does not need to know motion graphics or graphic design to be able to take advantage of and change the text of a template that we could use for our entire documentary or program. So I've got a sequence, and I've got a world-famous snowboarder here, except he's on skis. So he's a world-famous skier going down the face of a mountain. Well, we want to put a title key in here. So the way this works is let's import the After Effects project. Command-I opens up the import dialog. There's the After Effects project. It's called Live Text. Click Import. It links to it via the dynamic link server, which is how we're able to share program information between different programs. I'll twirl down the folder called Text Animation. Select the particular comp, which is displayed there. Click OK, and after a couple seconds of humming and whistling, there's the live text. Double-click it to load it up into the source monitor, and as I skim across here, we see we've got animation, and there is the world-class skier that's going down the face of the mountain. You would add this the same way that you would add this to any other track. We'll just do a, an edit, and there's our clip. And there's our skier. And I could stop right there because this is the guy's name. He is a world-class skier. It looks wonderful. We've created what's called a mortise, and we're all happy, except... I'm going to delete it. That isn't really Henri. No, no, no. That's me going down a mountain on skis. <laughs> uh, only in my dreams. But notice that I don't have any way here to change the text. There's a couple secrets you have to know. First, double-click the clip to load it up into the source monitor. Then click Effects Controls. And when you double-click it from the project panel to load it into the source monitor, you're able to change the text. And we'll just have a, the rest of it stay this. So let's make this. This is a skiing paradise, Death Valley. Lots of good skiing in Death Valley. We go back here, and now we'll edit this down to the timeline. We'll just type a period and put it in. And there is the world-famous skier Larry Jordan going down the face of the mountain. At this point, a trap exists that you need to pay attention to. If I edit this down a second time, so we have now two clips. If I make a change to Larry Jordan in either one of these clips, both clips change because they are both linked back to this one template, which means that if I need to have different titles for different people in my documentary, I have to right-click on the live text on the After Effects comp and duplicate it. Then load the duplicate into here, and go to Effect Controls and change it. And we'll change it to Betty Boop. Except we'll do it in uppercase so that it all looks good. Now when I edit this down, the clip shows up and I've got the Larry Jordan clip here. And I've got the Betty Boop clip here. There it is, right there. If you need to change the text, however, you cannot double-click it from the timeline. Double-clicking it from the timeline does not open up text inside effects controls. Another secret technique. You need to type the letter F as in frame. When you type the letter F, it loads the source clip, not the timeline clip. It loads the source clip into the source monitor. At that point, you can then change the text and have that text automatically changed down here, Mount Shasta. Live text is really cool. The only limitation is that you need to duplicate the After Effects comp in the project panel before you can have it edited into the timeline. Otherwise, when you change the text in one place using the letter F, it's going to be changed at every location where that clip is used in the timeline. 
This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at new features inside Premiere Pro and Audition, both the Creative Cloud 2014 release. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. Membership is a great value, especially if you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership in our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 700 movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.